Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Jarrell Miller and Lucas Brown will face off on the 18th of March in Dubai. And this fight, it's kind of interesting for different reasons. Miller making his return from another drug ban and Lucas Brown coming off one of the best wins of his career. And, you know, what's he got left? What's Miller got left without performance enhancing substances coursing through his veins? And this is not for the first time that this fight was meant to happen. Uh, in 2022, it was announced as uh, likely to go ahead at the end of the year, and it just sort of petered out and never really happened. But you can see here, promo poster formally announced by Salita Promotions, which uh, co-promotes Jarrell Miller. Lucas Brown has almost fought a couple of Salita Promotions fighters in recent years. Otto Varlin, there was also the Russian guy, Abdi Dovtaev. So it is a case that obviously they work well with each other, able to get deals done. And now this is happening. In slightly random location of Dubai, I mean, is there really any interest or, you know, demand for this fight there? Doesn't matter. It's going ahead. Miller... He's making his way back from um, another drug ban, the third of his career. Remembering early in his career, he uh, tested positive. There was the famous Anthony Joshua three tests that he failed in the lead up to that fight. And then when he was due to fight um, on his return, he popped again. That was, I think, the fight that was meant to take place against Jerry Forrest, but obviously did not go ahead. But because he was subject to the Nevada State Athletic Commissions um, under their rules, etc., they were able to put him out of the sport for what was it, 12 months. He's had a couple of different tune-up fights in random locations. There was that fight where he had in Argentina at the um, Say No to Drugs event that the WBA put on, and he's looked okay. But we're not really going to know what he's got, and perhaps maybe not even from this fight, until he faces stiffer opposition. Brown is a guy who's the best name that he's fought on his return to the sport following his drug ban. But what's Brown got left? Brown is, what, 43 years old at this point. He's been posting stuff in recent weeks that he's uh, 133, 134 kilograms, which is over 290 pounds. This fight announced with about six weeks notice or so. Brown may not be in optimal condition, but we'll have to see what sort of weight can he shift. And with Brown, he's kind of, you've largely in recent years, remembering he got sparked by White and then he was beaten by Dave Allen and he's had a couple of other so-so performances. But then he turned it around with a first round knockout an unexpected win one of the best of his career against junior far which to a large extent has helped reinvigorate you know his sort of image with boxing fans to some extent because you know up until that point i think a lot of us were thinking this guy is going to keep going and going and get hurt at some point and that could still be the case just because he's still got power and can land a, a shot against some fighters doesn't mean it's always going to come off. And with Brown, seemingly he's got issues uh, with gas, so we'll see what Miller can do. But if Miller's not on performance-enhancing substances, and we don't know if he is or he isn't, what does the post-third drug ban Miller have? Because he was always known for his volume, and without that, he becomes much more of a plotter who's got a decent chin. And that's what where it's interesting for me with this fight, because Miller has always demonstrated a decent chin. He's taken some really good shots from fighters before, some uh, the best from Gerald Washington, who is a big puncher, an underrated big puncher. Uh, but Brown power is the last thing to go, and he's probably going to be looking looking to land on Miller. But Miller he can shell up and have decent defense. But if it goes past you know four, five, six rounds, I think the advantage will be to Miller who could start, you know, breaking Brown down and take him out. But I think Lucas Brown coming into this fight, maybe similar to the Fainga Opilu fight, where he took a pasting for about five rounds, and then when Opilu gassed, he came into the fight and just started landing big bombs. So it could end up being something like that, that Lucas Brown knows his limitations on the gas tank front, he's not going to be throwing a huge amount of volume, and he will just look for his opportunities um, and openings more judiciously rather than just sort of uh, wearing himself out just by throwing for the sake of throwing. Miller, in some of the fights we've seen, he hasn't been that energizer bunny, you know, throwing, you know, all sorts of punches and grinding his opponents into the dust. But part of what he's done so far in his comeback has got rounds. 
and he needs them after so much inactivity due to his outside ring activities, um, you know, ingesting 64,000 performance enhancing substances. The guy just needs to put them down. And obviously he probably knows this is his last chance saloon. If he can't stay clean, if there's another drug ban at some point, you know, he will be sort of probably run out of the sport for good. So I'm sure there's a balancing act for him to go, okay, I need to build my way back in. This opponent's got some name recognition coming off a really good win. Maybe it's not the toughest fight that he could have, but it is a fight that certainly will give him more exposure and better announce that he's his return to the heavyweight division. Because so far, post the uh, sort of drug ban coming back, it's been more random fights and far-flung places and different club shows. It's just kind of, you know, been more of a curiosity and an oddity. But this represents a name in Lucas Brown, even though he's pretty much washed. But he's still dangerous. But I do think that Jarrell Miller is the favourite. He should win. And if he doesn't win, then obviously it's um, you know we, it's a long way back. He may actually have no way back. But for Brown, it's an opportunity. It's a payday. He's looking to cash out um, in the final sort of fights of his career. Recently, he said he's hoping to have at least three more fights. I think he's just playing it by ear. And if the results come, he'll keep boxing. He'll keep getting paid. But you know he is you know pretty long in the tooth and seasoned at this point. But he did show and remind us against Junior Far. The punching power is still there, so you have to be wary of that. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.